When we first created doTERRA, one of the things that was most important to us was to have transparency from the ground up. So to be here in Brazil and to work with these small scale farmers, to see the love that they have for their work, to see the love they have for one another and their communities and how they support one another is just an amazing experience. One of the things that I really like about this oil, of course, is the aroma. It's different than all of the other citrus oils. It also has this broad application, and one of the reasons why, sometimes we're limited in citrus oils because of the photosensitivity. Green Mandarin is unique because it has no photosensitivity. That means that I can have that fresh scent with me all the time, even when I'm outdoors in the middle of the day, all of that sunlight, no photosensitivity. And that's a unique feature that's associated with this oil. The mandarin tree produces an abundance of fruit, so much so that the tree can't possibly hold all of the fruit uh, that it produces. So when we talk about green mandarin, that is the immature fruit. And we, they go through a thinning process as they remove 70% of the immature fruit, the green mandarin, so that the remaining 30% can mature and that is then ripened and sold in the fruit market later on. Now normally the 70% that is thinned from the mandarin tree would be a waste product. It would be turned into compost and just laid on the ground. But because there is a need for green mandarin essential oil, they're now able to get paid a great price for that and uh, what a wonderful way to get compensated all the way through that process. And we are the beneficiaries because we get to enjoy this amazing cold pressed essential oil. My family has been producing citrus essential oils for a long, long time. I'm the fourth generation. My great grandfather started producing citrus essential oils in 1873 in Sicily. Quality is really, really important for us.